Money. Everyone loves money, but how do you make sure you're using yours as efficiently as possible? Well, if you've seen The Wolf of Wall Street, you probably invested in the stock market right after dumping your girlfriend on her 25th birthday. But if you're like me, you're not really smart enough to make money that way. We need a better way, a more foolproof way, a more fun way. Why not invest in computer hardware? Now I know what you're thinking, Brett, aren't computers notoriously known for nearly instant appreciation of value? So I had an idea. Let's see if the value of my home lab has outperformed my stocks over the last two years. Let me guess, more computer parts. Yep, you know it. Now, the amount you spend on that stuff, you can make decent money investing. I mean, this stuff practically is an investment. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, bet. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is- Or lose, or I lose, then you have your ifs. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. Yep, that's totally what happened. What I've done over the last two weeks is build a website that allows me to track the value of my hardware in my home lab and compare that to its original price. This video is sponsored by Bright Data and I use their data scraping API as the backbone of this project. So that was the main data I needed, right? I already know when I bought the stuff. I already know how much it costs. I know how many I have and I even know what it tastes like. The data I don't have is the current price since that is variable and can change daily. Luckily, Bright Data was like, hey, you wanna use our web scrapers to automate pulling that data? And I was like, yeah, that's less work that I have to do. And if there's one thing I like more than creating something cool, it's creating something cool while doing less work. So the concept is really simple. Compare the price of the product when I bought it versus what it is now. But that in itself isn't sexy at all. Like if I made this video and was like, so this shows what the stuff in my home lab is worth now versus when when I bought it a long time ago. That would be more disappointing than my senior prom night. So we need a way to display it not only in a clean and concise manner, but also in a way that builds a solid foundation for future features. More on that later. I decided to build a React site for two reasons. One, I basically have zero experience with it, so I could use this as a learning experience. And two, every time I looked up what I should be developing with, everyone was screaming about it. No, I didn't use Next.js. Maybe in a future video, let me know down in the comments if you guys wanna see it. So I went out and downloaded a clean admin template in React and started stripping out all the features that I needed. User authentication, charts, tables, selectors, etc. Now I'm not really gonna walk through too much of the code because I feel like maybe three of you actually care about that. Take a look at the final product you can see the fruits of my labor. We have a graph over time showing how much I've spent on my home lab over the last two years, which is basically a self-incriminating website that shows my wife why we could barely pay bills in June of 2021. Under that, we have a table listing out all the hardware in my home lab, and you have the ability to filter down to see how much you've lost on money versus percentage. You can see a bunch of information about each product, you can click on each product and be directed to the website in case, you know, maybe you want to buy it again and lose some more money. You can also filter down by category to see which category in your home lab was actually the biggest money pit. And for me, yeah, it looks like uh, that was storage. Next to that, we can see a total amount spent along with the indicator of how much you've gained or lost over time. You can see that I'm sitting at negative 1%, which you guys gotta admit, isn't bad at all. Now, is this super accurate? Mm. Then under that, we have a nice visual of how much money was spent in each category. Now, overall, it looks like the most of my money went into hardware. Not surprising. 
Like I said, this whole concept is powered by Bright Data's web scraping tools. Yes, I know you developed a bot that can scrape a web page when you were 14 and you did it with one hand tied behind your back. Guess who doesn't want to do all that? Like 99% of people. To get all my data, I use their online IDE, which has some templates to help get started. I used the Amazon product page one and I created two separate web scrapers to go out and pull all the data I needed for each product in my home lab from both Amazon and Newegg. Then I stored all that info in a database for my website to use. The cool thing about all this, and this is literally me just talking, Bright Data gave me zero talking points and just told me, hey, make something cool, is that you can build your web scrapers and then call them via a simple HTTP request. And then those web scrapers are deployed out into their huge ass proxy network and then pulled all back into a single response. It doesn't matter if you're pulling data for one product or for 100, all your data is packed up in a nice little JSON file that can be consumed by another simple API call. The way I'm doing it is through a little Node.js web API that will make all the calls to Bright Data for me once per day. Once a call is made, the API will start asking for the response data back from Bright Data every 10 seconds using the request key that I was given. The call to Bright Data essentially says, hey, you know those web scrapers that I have? Well, go ahead and start those up and don't worry about me. I'm gonna be like a kid in the back of a car during a road trip, asking if we're there yet every 10 seconds. Once the data is ready, my 10 second calls will then return a JSON formatted string with all of that juicy data. From there, I can parse it down and throw it into a database for my website to read from. It really was shockingly easy compared to what I was expecting. I'm already thinking of other cool ways to use this, so you may see more videos like this in the future. So with that said, since I started my home lab in 2020-ish, has my home lab outperformed my stock investments? Well, no, but if that were the case, then dear God, would I need a serious financial advisor. Everyone knows computer hardware depreciates faster than anything. Well, maybe not anything. This was a fun experiment though, to use some technology and dip my toes into the world of React. Now there are some flaws with the site. The glaring one is that I'm basing my current prices off of brand new retail prices from only two retailers. What about all the random stuff that's not sold via retailers anymore, like my old Xeons or random RAM kits? I mean, I get a lot of stuff off eBay. Well, that's something that I want to add in version 2.0, the ability to query eBay to get a more accurate real world price of what some of my stuff is worth. Maybe if I'm lucky enough, I'll throw in some AI and I can use some cringy thumbnail and title for the next one. All right, I actually wanna talk a little bit more about this because I didn't want it to come across as me thinking AI is just stupid or anything. I actually wanna get into some AI projects and I think this would be a good first step. Yeah, I could just scrape an eBay search page and pull all of that data in, but as a lot of you know, when you search for something on eBay, it doesn't always come back with exactly what you want. So the ability to scrape that data with Bright Data and then feed that into an AI tool to sort out what's relevant and what's not would be pretty sweet. Now for real, I have zero experience with AI. So any of you guys out there that do know what you're doing, please sound off down in the comments to give me some recommendations or some tools to help get me started. I would greatly appreciate that. And any of you that help you guys get some um, 20 rate owl points. All right, back to your regularly scheduled content. But yeah, that's it. I wanted to show off something cool that I made to you guys and get random kudos from strangers on the internet. So go ahead and comment down below how this is the coolest thing ever so I don't cry. If you guys actually want to use the site, then let me know. And if there's enough of you, then I can deploy it so you can have a nice little visual of how far down the rabbit hole you actually are. Links to all the resources I use to get this up and running are listed down in the comments. If you wanna try building something out like this for yourself with hopefully a better idea than I had. If you like this video, then drop a like and subscribe if you wanna see more random tech shit in the future. I wanna give a huge shout out to my Patreons and my YouTube members for supporting me. You guys are my global proxy network of web scraping data scrapers. All right, everyone, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.